Hello all, Rick here with a video on the legacy of the USS Stargazer to see its operational history and any emerging themes. Spoilers ahead for Picard Series 2 by the way. In this series I like to look at the history of ships with the same name, beginning with the origin of the term, or real life ships, with that name. However, in the case of the Stargazer namesakes I have found very little except for a few personal craft. In addition the name is rather obvious too being that it conjures the image of someone exploring the heavens from the ground, a clear nod to the goals of Starfleet. So with that aside, let's move on to the Star Trek vessels of that name. The earliest Stargazer I could find was a reference to a merchant vessel in 2266, but this was only a mention, however there is a recent addition to the lore. The Radiant class long range cruiser was operational in 2268. The first of its line was the USS Radiant NCC-1575, followed by the Fearless, the Lysander, the Stargazer, the Ventura and Agility. This starship was only seen as a model in a concept image, but it does bear a 4 nacelle design that would be a frequent reoccurrence with ships named Stargazer. The vessel's service history is unknown, but it was not in operation by the turn of the century depending on the lore you read. The most famous USS Stargazer is probably the Constellation class that was the first command of Captain Jean-Luc Picard, but it is far older than that. The vessel was launched in 2326, stardate 38917.5. However, the books list it as construction beginning in 2276, and the class of vessel was in service during the 2280s, and the first of its line was the USS Constellation NX-1974. The vessel was a dedicated explorer and science ship, but it seems to have had a lot of issues with its origin, judging by the dates. The Constellation, the prototype, was still undergoing testing and certification even in 2293, while ships like the Stargazer and Hathaway were active in these decades. Construction of these vessels lessened into the 24th century, unlike the Excelsior which remained a mainstay for the Federation for generations. Perhaps this is accurate, considering its origin being spread over so many decades as this does suggest a more turbulent development and life for the Constellation class, unlike the Excelsior which is a proven design. By 2360, the constellations that were still in service had been rendered warp inactive, which involved relegating them to light duties within system and no longer performing tasks beyond Federation space. However, some still operated in support roles among the fleets. The Stargazer was under the command of Captain Anton Manning from 2329, then Captain Dython Rualter in 2333. During this time Picard served as the flight controller on the vessel and was the second officer by the time of Rualta. Eventually the ship came under the command of Jean-Luc Picard, when the former captain dies from injuries sustained in battle. Picard remained in command of the vessel for over two decades, investigating a number of exploratory and scientific missions until 2355 when the Battle of Maxia happened. During this encounter a Ferengi marauder attacked the Stargazer and was defeated, however the battle cost the Stargazer and the vessel was evacuated. Picard was court-martialed and acquitted over the incident, and for the longest time Starfleet did not even know it was the Ferengi that were the attackers. Of course in 2364 the Stargazer was returned by Diamond Bok in a plan to exact revenge on Picard which was foiled. However, the vessel was taken back by Starfleet and towed to the Zendi Starbase 9 for a thorough inspection, and by the turn of the century it had been restored and was part of the Fleet Museum. We have mentions of an Intrepid class Stargazer around the mid 2370s, but I don't have an exact date. It is likely to be closer to the end of the 70s, as there were more Intrepid vessels by this time, but it could not have kept that name for much longer. In Star Trek Online we see a new Stargazer emerge, and in fact it becomes the namesake for that class of ship. The class of vessel was another 4 nacelled design and named for the legacy of Picard's command. Its role was much the same as the prior one, in that it was to be a scientific explorer, 
and one of the first new designs prototyped after the Dominion War, when Starfleet began to reassert its dedication towards more peaceful endeavours. The first vessel was the USS Stargazer NCC 2893-A, under the command of Captain Roma Giordano, and was constructed at San Francisco Fleet Yards in 2381 and was active soon after. Alongside its exploratory missions, it was assigned patrol and watch for a group of Alpha Quadrant Jem'Hadar as part of Starfleet's post-Dominion War dealings with the Cardassians to maintain the peace. It however returned to its peaceful duties, and by 2406 it had made first contact with the Zarezian Congress. However, with the 25th century now being explored on screens, we have a different Stargazer to look at, although there are still notable similarities. Towards the end of the 24th century, we have the Sagan class being built, and the first vessel launched was the USS Stargazer NCC 82893. It is possible the vessel was rechristened from the USS Sagan and an NX registry, as has been seen occasionally, based on the return of Admiral Picard to Starfleet that year. In 2401, the new Stargazer was launched with a wide new array of technologies that gave it a multi-purpose role, including multiphasic shielding and reverse-engineered advancements from a Borg cube. Its captain was the recommissioned and freshly promoted Captain Cristobal Rios, and one of its earliest assignments, after the stop at the Delton colony of Raritan IV, was to explore a spatial anomaly that emitted a call for Admiral Picard. The subsequent events almost saw the USS Stargazer destroyed through a self-destruction, when the Borg attempted to assimilate the vessel and gain access to the fleet it was a part of. However, this was avoided through the interference of Q and the revelation that the Borg were being non-hostile in this instance under a different queen. In this instance, the advancements made through Borg technology proved to be a weakness, as it was easier for the Borg to interface with its systems. However, such advancements before have worked amazingly well for ships such as the USS Voyager, which have probably been the basis for such integration research. The vessel eventually sees its captain remain in 2024 Earth, and rather than assume command, Admiral Picard granted a field commission to Seven of Nine, Annika Hansen, as its new acting captain. Where the vessel heads next remains to be seen. There did seem to be a little confusion if the vessel was a new ship or a refit because it was referred to as both. However, the likelihood seems to be that it is an entirely new vessel, considering the registry, level of redesign, and the fact that the former Stargazer is counted as a separate ship when consulting the displays on board the Sagan class. So as we can see, the Stargazer name has usually been given to ships that are long-range explorers, as befitting the title. There is also a quirk of Stargazers having four nacelles, something that probably ties into the long-range nature of the ships, however, they are also often assigned to patrols or defensive duties when needed, with arguably the newest Stargazer being the most suited for this role, despite that not being its designed function. Thanks for watching this video on the lore of vessels named Stargazer. I've been Rick, and I'll see you again for another video. Thanks again, and goodbye.